Hey everyone, it's Tommy from the Glory Crease Network, and today we're looking at the Paso knee cards. Um, now, Paso is a smaller company out of Quebec, and they have their own line of goalie pads. Uh, they're actually very well known in the industry, um, though they're getting out there to um, the direct-to-consumer um, industry, uh, which I think is absolutely great. Um, they are extremely nice guys, um, and they are a sponsor of our um, goalie board, and they've always been, you know, so nice, and they ask questions, you know, even of other manufacturers, um, and they're always willing to, to lend a helpful hand. So they're extremely nice, and I really enjoy, um, you know, speaking with them on the board and elsewhere. Um, now, they also have, you know, not just their own sets, but they have a chest protector that is extremely popular um, in the industry. Um, they're working on some pants right now, so we're all very excited about that. Um, and they also have knee guards. Um, these are kind of a newer product, um, but they're also going over very well. Now, they are a little bit bulky, um, which I actually don't mind. Um, I usually use a bulkier knee pad, um, so, you know, I'm perfectly used to it. Um, a lot of people like the bulkier knee guards, um, since they are more protective, typically at least. Um, and I found the exact same thing um, of these. So let's go a little bit over the construction um, and the comfort level, and you know that'll be a great start to, uh, to the pad. So by turning it around here, you can see um, there's a lot of padding. There's a good you know, quarter to a half inch of padding here, which is absolutely great and very comfortable. Um, especially if you're a person like me who I don't wear socks underneath, I don't wear socks over these. Um, you know, I just have a very thin um, pant that I wear. So these are very comfortable when you're going down in the butterfly or the half butterfly and you're sliding around. Um, you know, some knee guards can be rather, um, you know, painful on your knees, but not these because of all this padding. They also have this gnash, so it doesn't rotate on you. Um, now, I have heard some reports of some rotation for people. I haven't had any problem whatsoever. Um, and it's because of this gnash, which tends to stick on your pants a little bit better. Um, it could be, you know, if you like to go with a bare leg, um, you know, this might not um, stick as well um, as opposed to um, some sort of a pant like I wear underneath. Um, so I just definitely recommend, you know, a pant underneath and that way, you know, it stays in place much better. Now also aiding um, in staying in place are all of these straps. They have four different straps. And I think that's absolutely great. Um, you know, and, and some of it, you know, straps right there. Um, if you wanted to use this strap here, you could certainly do that. It's completely up to you and your comfort level. And so you can see if it's on your leg, it hinges very nicely, just like your knee does. Your knee stays in the middle. This comes down, drops down a little bit so it's on your knee block. And, you know, now you're protecting your entire knee. Now, there was some controversy when these first came out over, you know, which leg does this one go on? They do strap to the outside, just like your typical knee protector. Um, now, the thing that was making that counterintuitive is that the lip for these is actually on this side. So it kind of looks like it should be over here, just like some other manufacturers make their knee guards, but theirs is not. And there's actually a reason why. So if you are down in your butterfly and you jam that down a little bit, you can see now it's absolutely perfect. If that was the other way around, this might actually hang off your knee block, and then when you go to get up, suddenly it's hanging on your knee block. So I think that's actually a really smart design that they've included here so that it's on the inside of the knee block and it's much less likely to get hung up. I've actually never had it hang up, and I've uh, actually loaned this to a few friends as well, um, and I haven't heard of any reports of any hang-ups or anything, um, so I think that's actually uh, worked well. Um, another thing I really like about these knee guards is they're very easily laceable. Um, so if your pants have a little bit um, of a tab that's on the inside, or even if you want to lace it um, you know, to your chest protector, which I actually know a couple people do, um, or if you want to um, go ahead and put a garter on, uh, you can lace it to the garter, um, you can use these two tabs. Now protection wise, these are absolutely great. Um, again, I'll show you how, if you're in your butterfly, how it ends up looking. So you can see um, this would actually curve in a little bit. So it protects the inside of your, uh, your leg. So you're getting your groin protection. You're getting straight on protection. This is double protected since there's this um, cup over this. And if you open it up a little bit on the inside, you can see it's very well protected underneath as well. So you're getting this, um, you know, it's not 360 degree uh, protection, but it's more like 180 since it's covering, you know, the inside, the front, and a little bit of the outside. 
Um, I actually use these as my backup knee guards since my regular ones are usually sewn in. Um, but I really like to use these when I'm trying out new pants or um, I have a lot of friends who uh, really like to borrow these and then they go on and end up buying their own. Um, so in a lot of cases, you know, if I had an extra knee guard set, I would probably end up selling them. I will never sell these. And the reason why is because these are so, um, you know, comfortable. They don't rotate. So in those instances where I need to use a backup pair of pants, um, or if I'm using a new pair of pants that don't have, uh, you know, sewn in knee guards or anything like that, I use these. Um, I definitely recommend them to anyone who is looking for knee protection that is very well rounded, likes it a little bit on the bulky side. Um, or in that matter, um, if you don't, I would recommend just getting used to it, to be perfectly honest. Get used to it. These are extremely well protective. Don't go with something that's extremely thin. Um, you know, I, I get a lot of people who say, well, I only get hit on the knee, you know, one time a year. Yeah, well, my goalie last year got hit on the knee and he was out for four months um, because he had a displaced patella and he ended up having to have two surgeries, one for the initial injury and another one um, because of some infection. So I definitely recommend just, you know, invest in these. Um, you know, this is definitely less than a surgery and they're comfortable and you're never going to regret, you know, getting a pair of these. So I definitely recommend them and thank you so much to uh, Paso for letting me uh, look at these and review them and keep them for that matter uh, so I can, uh, you know, give them out to my friends and uh, they can use them as well. So thanks a bunch and I'll see you around.